Kajowski, and this is Wood Creek Media. Hey man, what's up? Oh my god, I was just wondering how to make a dance with my media. Uh, sure man, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how. We actually uh, just finished brainstorming, so, and now we're working on the second step, which is actually doing the storyboards like this, drawing out the pictures and sh setting up our shots. Next, we take uh, all our storyboards and we go and start build, building props. Props can include uh, signs like these for some of our videos, it just depends on what we're doing. The next step is to come out here, which is where we set up our shots. Yeah, man, that looks good. Next step is to do the filming. This is Nick Garner signing off. Stay classy, Wood Creek. And then after that, we go ahead and take this camera back to our editing bay, and we go dump the footage onto the computers. Here we got Ricky. He just dumped our footage onto the computer. Currently working on the editing. He does the editing and he starts doing titles and anything that involves the video. Then after we finish all that, we take it over here with Vince here. He's doing the music. Goes over, goes over our video. And after we're done getting the music and the titling and all the editing done, we go ahead and export it out, often using QuickTime conversion. After that, here comes the fun part. We go ahead and watch the video. This is room 124 where we carry out most of our production operations uh, here at Wood Creek High School for the Wood Creek Media Program. Uh, today I want to take you around and show you some of the facilities, uh, show you some of the workstations, some of the cameras, uh, get a glimpse into the studio, give you kind of an idea of what the room looks like uh, as we have our students produce our award-winning media. So in the room it's dominated by these three posters that I have behind me here. Uh, they represent kind of the cornerstones of the program, communication, technique, and critique. And I refer to these on a regular basis to the class because, well, all of our media projects have a communication at their core. They have technique in order to generate something on the screen, and we have a critical look at the uh, materials afterwards to make sure it's a, as deliberately designed as it can be. Let me show you the workstations that the students have and kind of where they spend their day. These are the student workstations. They are first generation Mac Pros. Uh, they've been around for probably longer than they need to be, but they've continued to be a really, really strong workstation for the students. We've bumped up the RAM to about four gigs RAM. It's about a terabyte of storage that we divide into two uh, different drives. Students keep most of their media projects on the storage drive. These cameras here tend to be the mainstay of our video productions. Uh, the Canon HF series a uh, small camcorder uh, records an AVCHD, uh, which has proven to be a real uh, versatile format for the most part. Premiere Pro works pretty well uh, with that particular format. The cameras plug in via USB. Uh, the students can move their media directly from the cameras onto their storage drives and edit their media right at the workstations. We do have a Canon 7D in the stable, as it were, uh, which we use for our more advanced classes, and the Panasonic uh, 150 that is currently shooting this video, a uh, camera that I uh, truly like, truly love. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, lenses in the box. Um, the lab itself is uh, about seven years old now, uh, but continues to perform uh, all of the tasks that we ask it to do. Uh, it does all the heavy lifting for moving the video around, the students are working on it uh, through the entire day, uh, and we're hoping to improve this lab over the next year or so but we'll talk more about that later. One of the nice things is to be able to take my desktop from my computer, use a projector and project it right on the screen. And in fact, this is where most of the direct instruction happens uh, for the entire lab. We're able to showcase uh, to the students on the projector exactly what they see on their screens. And I'm actually able to also take their screens and bring it directly onto my screen. So if we needed to get a little uh, extra help or uh, keep people on track, uh, we can go ahead and do that very easily. Uh, so the projector is an invaluable tool. Sometimes it gets a little small, but we're able to zoom things up and down, and it works really, really well. In fact, most of our time, most of our direct instruction takes place right here off of the projector. So with the projector and the ability to project my lessons and my instruction directly to the screen, 
you can see the students get a first-hand look at how these productions should go together. I'm able to pull their screens down onto mine. I'm able to help them one-on-one. -on -one. There's certainly enough room in the classroom for me to migrate around management by walking around. Uh, and there's also enough proximity where the students can elbow each other and have, uh, have classroom conversations about the techniques or the problems that they might be having in their own productions. Um, the table groups that you see, the individual sets of four, makes for ideal sets, uh, ideal teams that allows the students to go ahead and work on team-oriented projects as well. What I do like to do is show you the studio that we have available to us, uh, a shooting studio that gives us the abil ability to do green screen and more larger scale production. So let's go ahead and head down over there. Here in the studio, we have the opportunity to put the students in some unique situations. As you can see, sometimes it gets a little warm in here. <clears throat> but with the green screen and using the uh, uh, editing technology that we have, we're able to give the students a real feel for what it's like to work in a production studio. <clears throat> we also have uh, the big white screen that gives us a nice, simple backdrop that we can use for uh, our, our performances, our interviews, our public service announcements, our information. Uh, and the studio itself, the studio environment, really allows us to expand our opportunities. So that should give you a better idea of what the classroom facilities look like and the shooting studio uh, here at Wood Creek High School. For the student work, I'm going to turn you over to the YouTube channel that we have, Wood Creek Media, uh, and you get a sense of uh, what kind of productions we put together over the course of the year. Uh, we have a collection of video on there that shows both award winners and our uh, daily broadcast that we broadcast down into the lobby and um, make available on our web page. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, this particular video was designed to help out with the Career Tech Advisory Committee and I hope you guys have a better idea now of what exactly it is that we look like. Um, take a look at the documentation that we have and the other links that I'm providing to you uh, to get a sense of uh, what it exactly is that we do. Uh, thanks for watching.